Web components allow you to build web apps in a modular, reusable, and pretty encapsulated way. Polymer is a JavaScript library that polyfills modern browsers, allowing you to use web components right now. It includes some nice additional features, such as data binding. Now there are four parts to web components. Custom elements, HTML templates, Shadow DOM, and HTML imports. You can use each of these elements on their own, but they're pretty powerful when you use them together. Custom elements let you declare a new element that registers a new tag within the browser. And inside that element, you can place whatever you want, HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. You can wrap up individual elements or a whole app within an HTML element. And you can also extend existing elements like the button tag, for example. You also get these really nice lifecycle events that call back when something is created or, or removed. And after you define an element, you can just use it like any standard DOM element. HTML templates are a native replacement for client-side JavaScript templates. They're hidden from the document and contain inner chunks of markup, which you might want to use later. They work with the DOM and they're parsed, but they won't be rendered. Shadow DOM allows you to encapsulate styles and markup. This is what browsers like Chrome do whenever they want to create their own widgets. Now, Shadow DOM can host a hidden DOM that can't be accessed outside of JavaScript unless you really want it to be. Now, styles in Shadow DOM are scoped by default and they don't blend across a shadow boundary. HTML imports let you reuse HTML elements built by others pretty easily. You can import an element using link rel equals import and start including elements defined by it right away. For more information on web components in Polymer, check out polymer-project.org.